So this was our Christmas tree from this year. We actually went out and cut down our own Christmas tree this year and we want to start a tradition that every year we take a slice or round from the tree and make it into a Christmas ornament to hang on the tree for next year. And we didn't do it last year. It's really unfortunate because we actually cut down our own Christmas tree last year from our own property. So it's kind of devastating that we didn't get a slice from it, but either way, that's okay. This is our, the first year for it and that's gonna be 2022. And we're gonna keep the tradition going. We wanted to also each year do something for the tradition that is it has something to do with the year that like has a significance to that year. So right now our son is obsessed with trains. He is two years old and he is literally obsessed. All he does is talk about trains. For Christmas, he got two different types of trains. We got him a train table and a little moving steam train that goes around the Christmas tree. So it thought to be only fitting for it to be a little train. So I'm gonna draw out the train on here and then I'm gonna wood burn it in. This is the wood burner that I have. I think I just got this from Michael's, it's Walnut Hollow. I'm just gonna use this tip that's on it right here. It's just kind of like a detail tip. I have two wood burners here, but this is probably the one that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna let it sit and get really super hot. And then I am gonna just trace out the train and get going. This is like on Etsy, but it's just like an adorable little train. So I might do something like that instead. If I overthink this, I'm not gonna do it. And I know myself pretty well, probably not going to. So I'm gonna just, you can see it just burns right in. <laughs> it's gonna be so dorky, but you know what? rough outline. Just doing my best here, you know. That's all we can do. And I'm gonna get better at this the more I do it. I really enjoy wood burning actually. It's it's so um, difficult to get it to look good. widen this a little bit so that I can put the wheels back. that front tire way too thick, but you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter, does it?
gets the uh, point across, you know? This is, it's gonna be interesting to see how the skills advance every year, how tastes change and likes change, you know, this year it's a train. What will it be next year? Not much, but it's an honest day's work. I'm gonna do a little bit more touch-ups to it just to make it like a little less dorky looking. Some of the tires are not very round. But you know what? I think that's pretty cute and I'd be I'd be happy to hang that on my tree, I think. And then I'm gonna I already wrote 22 and 22 on the back of it, but I think I'm gonna well no, I think I'll just like deep like put a little bit of a deeper wood burn into that so that we can remember every year what year everything was what year was it there we go 2022 little train make this a little bit taller whatever it's carrying coal is what it's carrying it's all about pressure too and how fast you go it's it's like a it's definitely an acquired skill it's not very easy to do it's not hard but it's like you're once you do it you yeah that's it better like what you just did and there it is my handy dandy christmas ornament i need to color that in all the way i don't really like the way that was looking just Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I think it's pretty cute. It's a little bit, looks like a kid made it, but you know what? That's that's where, that's where the whimsy in it. I'll just be like, dude, you made this when you were two. Don't you remember? All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was really fun to do. It was something I've been kind of putting off for a little while, thinking that I wouldn't be able to, I'd be overthinking it, but I'm, I'm done overthinking, okay? 2023 is the year that I am done overthinking. A year done. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.